Okay, now I've created my access database called Kirk's Coffee, and inside this database I've created two tables. The first table is listing all the stores in which I've assigned an ID number for each store, and my second table lists all the employees. And the employee has the store field in it also, which points back to the other table for which store that they work at. Now I'm going to create a query. Let's say, let's create a query that lists all the employees that make more than $11 per hour. So up on the toolbar, the tab bar, click on create. And then we're going to go to query design. And the first thing it does is ask us which tables do we want to pull data out. I'm going to select both of them. So employees and stores. Mm -hmm. Notice that Access has already gone ahead and drawn my link between these two tables, which again, this is what makes it a relational database. It's a relation. So now if I pull, if I look up information on a particular employee, I also have access to information about the store that they work at. So in my query design, I can now select the fields to list on the query. So I'm going to select the employee's last name, the employee's first name, then their uh, wage. And now I can also select information out of the stores database. Let's just put the store address in which they work. And again, this is being pulled out of the other related table. So we wanted to list all the employees that make over $11 per hour. Um, right here on this row that says criteria, this allows us to add criteria. And so under wage, I'm just going to type greater than 11. And now to run your query, up here in the top left, if you just click on the run button, it now runs my query and it lists all the employees that make over $11 and also the address of the store that they work at. Now one last thing to do and that would be to save my query which will allow me to name it. Uh, different ways you can do it. I'm just going to right click on the query one and select save and ask me to name the query. A logical name would be employees uh, who make more than eleven dollars. Over on the left side where it lists my objects that I've created in this database uh, the view shows each table, stores and employees, and then any queries or reports that are related to that table underneath that. So that's why you see that this query, query we created is duplicated. Uh, one thing you, that I kind of like to be less confusing, if you drop this down and then just say, um, instead of the tables and related views, I just select object type. And now, over here, it lists my tables and then queries underneath it.